So first of all, I want to apologize for the lack of content as of late. I've been working through some issues, both technical and personal, but I'm getting things figured out and hopefully I can get out content more consistent, con consistently and of a better quality. So moving on to the actual video, today we got, and by today I mean Thursday, the day I'm recording this, we got some new photos for The Last Jedi. And a, I'd say about a third of them are of Kylo Ren, and he looks interesting, to say the least. And by that I mean he does not look like a villain. In fact, for most of the promotional materials for The Last Jedi, he has not looked like a villain. The only times he's even come close, and not quite there exactly, but just close, was in the shot of him, Hux, and Phasma for Vanity Fair, and that one shot of him in the trailer where he's holding up his lightsaber. Other than that, he just looks hurt and lost all the time. Like, I... <laughs> there's really no other way to describe it. He doesn't look evil or mean or menacing in any of these materials. And if they're trying to... If they're trying to market him as a villain, if Lucasfilms is trying to market him as a villain, they are doing a piss-poor job of it. You know, you really kind of have to wonder... Why? Why does he look like this? Why doesn't he look like an actual bad guy? Because even in The Force Awakens, there are plenty of moments to suggest that he's a more sympathetic character than, you know, than analyses from just a year ago would suggest. And it's... <sighs> I don't know, let's, let's just take a look at some of these moments in The Force Awakens. This isn't going to be anything really in-depth. This is just kind of more of an overview of some examples. If you want to see something more in-depth, I could maybe do that in the future. But probably the biggest giveaway of Kylo Ren as a sympathetic character is, believe it or not, the scene where he kills Han Solo. Because leading up to it, he says that he's feeling torn apart. In the commentary, J.J. Abrams says that, you know, in that moment he's actually thinking about leaving the First Order and returning with Han. But then, you know, in a split second, rash decision, he does kill Han. But his face afterwards, it's almost identical to Leia's. You know, he's in shock. He's in pain. J.J. Abrams says that he immediately regrets his decision. Star Wars Databank says that he feels weakened by his decision. And in the novelization, Han forgives him. Yeah, Kylo Ren just killed him, but Han forgives his son, nonetheless. I covered that more in depth in my Why Han Solo Fanboys Should Want Kylo Ren to Be Redeemed. So, you know, for more in-depth analysis of that, you know, I suggest you check out that video. But there are other moments in The Force Awakens as well. Like the scene after the interrogation scene, Snoke accuses Kylo Ren of having compassion for Rey. You know, it's nothing huge, and yeah, it's not really in the movie, but, you know, it definitely suggests that there's more to Kylo Ren than just some evil warlord, you know? It shows that there's still humanity in him, that there's still light in him. And Adam Driver said that something that's something we're going to see in The Last Jedi. We're going to see more of Kylo Ren's humanity. That is such an odd way to describe a villain. That is such an odd way to describe a villain, you know? And on to The Last Jedi materials. You know, like I said, you know, he doesn't look menacing in most of the materials. 
like even in the tra the shot from the trailer where he's holding his lightsaber, he could kind of be his expression could kind of be taken as looking mean, but he could just be angry, you know. He could, and he could be angry at any one person. Maybe Hux pissed him off. You know, maybe he's finally fed up with Snoke. Who knows? This is just speculation. You know, he doesn't have to be pointing that lightsaber at Rey or Luke. There are plenty of other characters for him to be pointing that lightsaber at. You know, I'm not saying that it's any one person, but there are possibilities there. We, we don't know who he was angry at in that scene. And, you know, if they wanted Kylo Ren to look like a villain in these promotional materials, they probably should have gone with a look, I'd say even more menacing than the one from the Vanity Fair issue, because honestly, he does not look that menacing there either. But it's the closest they have to him looking evil. And honestly, I think that's because he's standing with Hux and Phasma in that picture. They're really not doing a good job making him look evil. You know, and the photos that came out today, he looks like a lost puppy. You know, in one of the photos, he even looks like he's going to cry. Like, I kid you not. And then, like, even the poster for The Last Jedi, you know, most of us can probably guess that Luke is not going to be a villain in The Last Jedi. But he looks more menacing than Kylo Ren does. Like, Kylo Ren looks... Again, he just looks hurt. He doesn't look mean. He doesn't look evil. He doesn't look menacing. He just looks hurt. Luke just looks more menacing than Kylo Ren. And, you know, that, that is something that is deliberate. You know, they had... They had graphic designers working on that. And that's the look they went with. They went with Luke looking like that, and they went with Kylo Ren looking like that. It just... He doesn't look evil. It doesn't seem like they're gonna make him evil in The Last Jedi. You know? If they wanted him to look evil, if they wanted him... To look evil, they would have made him look evil. They, there's absolutely no payoff for having him look like a hurt, lost puppy. If you know they were gonna make him this super mean villain in the Last Jedi, you know if they were gonna have him go darker, it just doesn't make any sense. But you know, I think anyone watching me knows that. I'm a huge fan of the idea of Kylo Ren getting a redemption, so I'm probably biased. <laughs> I'll acknowledge that. I'm biased, but, you know, this is, like I always say, you know, this is just something to think about, and I would love to hear what you guys think, so please comment below, tell me what you think. If you like the video, give it a like, and if you like what you've seen and you like my other videos, then please feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.